subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Welcome to Web Training Academy's channel, and this is our blogging series for beginners course where I am teaching you about the concept of blogging. This is the video number four, and our today's topic is how to register a domain name, hosting, and how to buy an SSL certificate for the website. So let's see our today's topic. Now, before you we begin the session. If you are new to our channel, I request you to subscribe to our channel as well as press the bell icon so you can receive all the latest updates from Web Trainings Academy. So, so first of all, as you have seen our previous video on the research about how to find a niche for your business. Now the next stage is once you decided the niche, now the concept, the next point will be about buying a right domain name because domain name is everything. If you buy a wrong domain name, you may not rank everywhere in the world. You may have a limitation in ranking. So what is the procedure which I follow to register the domain name I will explain you that concept so first of all see a domain name basically is nothing but www.abc.com which means basically triple W is optional now you can take the name and the extension two important parts are of there are there in the domain name name of the domain and extension of the domain now first important thing as a blogger if you have taken a niche which is global which where your target audience are all over the world never take a dot in domain name or a localized domain name because you will be restricted you are restricting your traffic only to a specific country so always i prefer that if you want to get global exposure always try to book a dot com domain name which can rank almost everywhere in the world based on your subject and then your industry your niche now example i will give you and then later i will tell you what is my example as well now one idea i got was after doing research is to buy a mehendi design Mehendi design related domain name. So how do we work on this concept, sir? What is the logic of finding the name? So one of the way of finding the name says there are some business websites which are called as business name generators or domain name generators website. Links I will give in the description below. You can go and check them. So what you can do in this websites is you can just type your root word, maybe Mehendi, and it will try to give you all possible variations with different words. So you can select some names from that method or you can also do this method. You can take a root word and then you can take the all relevant words connected with that prefix or suffix anyway and then you will try to make a list of all the domains which can be possible and then you start researching about the domain name for example I'll give you one small example of how we are we have selected a domain name our one of the project we are working on is about courses which is all the courses across the world whatever the career opportunities that are there for professionals my idea is to using this blog because i'm passionate about education industry it's my personal interest also so what is i want to do is i want to create a blog or a website wherein every career every topic you want to learn i want to put that uh, topic in that particular website so what how we did a research is let's see the idea here first we have taken root words like professional then we have taken the word pro then we have taken the word uh, skills then we have taken the word career then we have taken the word courses then we have taken the word education these are all our root words then we started adding some prefixes prefixes for example common prefixes which are popular website like 99acres.com so first we tried with 99courses.com is it available 99skills.com like the 9999 we have tried it was not available so we have left that idea then we had uh, you know suffixes the last words which we have with our name then that we have uh, thought about some uh, mix up example we have carwale.com so we have I tried wallet to attach with all of this like coursewallet.com skillwallet.com like this uh, we have other word like course uh, dekho so we have tried with the word dekho like that we have tried different different words even we can try with uh, you know biology so we can say edu edulogy that's an education uh, with plus logy or wikipedia is one website so i can say courseopedia so we can try with variations on this concept and based on that you have to 
find your root domain so in our research we have found out one very interesting uh, domain and idea was that education is very popular name we cannot able to find the name related to education so what i have did is the greek the greek word which was actually derived from which education word is derived is educo e d u c o but c o is again a popular word lot of people have taken that name so what you have taken e d u c u educo if you term it like that it's educo only it should be with o but spelling mistake wantedly we did so educo and what we are actually providing professional so proeduco.com will be my next domain name for my for the for the new project which i'm going to launch so that is the idea behind selecting the name i will show you practically how to register this option and apart from it now we have to also think about the hosting now see basically hosting comes in various flavors one is called a shared hosting which has limited uh, you know number of visitors can visit your website somewhere around depending on 10000 visitors per month or like that now you have cloud hosting which has more uh, user base and more valuable can more uh, power in your server number 3 we can take vps server which is very very powerful you can even have uh, 1 lakh visitors per month on your website even some vps provide you 1 lakh per day also vps server called as virtual private server and last one we can say is a dedicated hosting so shared hosting and second we have the cloud hosting third we have vps hosting and fourth we have your uh, dedicated hosting as a beginner i will first suggest you to start with simple shared hosting don't go for any other random thing and also take the basic version because as you are getting started you don't know how many more visitors you may get in future so always i try with the basic package and then i will try to upgrade depending on the growth in my traffic so here in practical session we are going to see how to register your domain name and also i'm i'm using a hosting company which i will also refer you which you can actually have the link in the description you can directly buy from there as well so I am going to show you practically how to register a domain name. Number two, how to take the hosting, and then while you are taking the hosting, how to buy the, how to take the SSL. Mostly hosting companies now are providing one year free SSL, so that will help you to get the HTTPS for the first year free of cost. That is also a very good idea. So now I am going to show you in practical in my laptop, and so I am going to now show you a live process of how to book a domain name and hosting in very few minutes of time. So first, I'll go to the website hostinger.com or hostinger.in, whichever is uh, I'll go with Indian version because we are buying from India. So go to hostinger.in, straightforward, and we can here buy the domain name and hosting as we wanted. As I told you already, we have different versions. So I will choose here with uh, shared hosting, and I have to buy a domain also. but before that i want to show you one simple uh, concept here so in shared hosting you see we have different packages first one is single web hosting meaning only one website we can host second one is premium web hosting and here is the difference if you if you are having multiple projects then i will suggest you to go with this one because you can host multiple websites on the single uh, uh, hosting so shared hosting itself whereas in the first package we have only one website we can host and it will only allow us 10000 visitors per month and one email account and see this is free but there is no free domain name we have to buy the domain name i will do that that's not a problem and then if you see this package we have uh, monthly 115 per month and 100 websites we can able to launch and it is a 20 gb storage this is 100 websites of your own not of your clients because they don't give a separate c panel they only have a one panel one login panel to access and as we know wordpress is perfect we have wordpress access and uh, bandwidth everything is very good so i'm going to use this particular uh, hosting uh, company to book a domain name as well as registration for my project and this uh, itself we are going to work step by step so i'll go to domain name domain checker and as i told you i have uh, selected one unique name which has a spelling mistake but i don't care because that name uh, is easily memorable right so i'll just go with pro edu co actually it should be educo co but i have taken pro educo so just say search and .com if available right away i'll book with my name with account in hostinger all right yeah pro educo.com here it is educo.com available so add to cart and some parts of the screen i may be holding it and i want to buy domain as well as a hosting yes select a hosting plan as well along with this 
that's uh, because I want to buy both domain and hosting. So add to cart. So I'm buying both from the same company. You can buy hosting from one company, domain from other company. In that case, you have to use the name server one, name server two to connect them together. That even hosting company people will help you. So here I have uh, okay proeduco.com one year six not two okay, and here I want to buy for twelve months single hosting. That is enough. Plan renew on uh, okay 2021 at 179. All right, I think that is. Uh, also okay not a problem per month it is very expensive i don't want to go with this so total how much amount i have is uh, domain and web hosting 1188 okay ssl free of cost and cloud for protection also free and taxes are uh, oh that's pretty heavy get in person gst so 2126 is my overall cost so and also great thing is it's a lifetime ssl that's amazing all right cloud for, uh, cloud for protection is fine backup i don't need that's it friends so i have taken my details and now i can go ahead and buy with a checkout and sometimes you can also see if there are any promo codes available option for promo codes is also there in that case you can add a promo code and further you can able to get some uh, discount in this whole process so i'll go ahead with checkout you can lease, use the link i have uh, shared that will be very helpful so i'll use my gmail login because it will be automatic i will pay with net banking anything i can use net banking whatever the options yes our process is completed now you can see after the payment i can just click on start now and i can complete my setup so already i have a domain name choose already i have taken a domain name so just click select and now it will complete the process so it's a personal and next step and i have to add my contact details here which i will add let's say for uh, yes friends so the registration process is under the undergoing right now done so here we have got our website done and i can skip this from scratch all right and i can say finish the setup so this is how we have got access to our first domain name and hosting and within a couple of minutes now hostinger will send me the username and password to access our cpanel details and everything from there i'm going to show you the next session where we will see how to set up the wordpress easily and then we will see about what are the themes we should use what are the best themes to work out i hope you have uh, understood in a very simple way in few minutes of time how to get our website ready and this is our control panel friends so we have got our website ready that is uh, proeduco.com this is our hosting and our content now next session I'm going to show you about the process of how to install WordPress on this machine, on this server, and what are the themes, best themes for uh, professionals, best theme for bloggers. We will discuss about that topic in our next session. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, please share our video as well as like our video. And any question you can ask me in the comments, uh, as well as you can please subscribe to our channel. Our goal is to reach 1 lakh subscribers very soon so please support us with your subscriptions we are providing free free of cost videos to help you to learn this subject and we need your support as your subscription thank you very